How's it going guys? Needless Space here and welcome to another fast and easy Destiny 2 guide. So today I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to get your hands on the new Dead Man's Tail exotic and how to quickly start and get through the new secret exotic mission. Let's jump right into it. Perfect. Real quick guys, if you can appreciate fast and easy guides, consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing to the channel for more. It helps my channel out tremendously. So starting us off, in order to get our hands on this new secret exotic mission, we're first going to have to jump into a specific strike. I'm talking about the arms dealer strike on EDZ. Now when you jump into this strike, normally we'll head to the left down this path, but now there is a new doorway that's open straight ahead of you. Go through this doorway along the path for a while and eventually your quest marker will point towards your new objective, which is an intercepted distress signal. Now after interacting with it, you can just bail out and head to the tower, go visit your buddy Zavala, and he'll have the new exotic quest waiting for you. So now that we have this mission, the way that we actually jump in is by going to the Tangled Shore directory and you're going to see it in the top left of the screen. Now this mission is filled with different kinds of various puzzles, so I'm basically going to be showing the entire mission explaining each part, so feel free to jump around to different sections that you might get stuck in. So starting us off, as soon as you jump into the mission, it kind of throws you for a loop making you think you go up the ramp into the doorway somehow, but you actually turn around and jump onto these side platforms on the side of the ship. Now we're going to be following these platforms, making our way up along the side, until you get to this entrance that lets you in. Now that we're inside the ship, we're going to be going through sort of a little maze through these vents. There are going to be a few that you do have to shoot through to get by, but just follow the path that I take until you get to this big opened up blue lit room. Now, once inside this room, the first thing you're going to have to do is to flip this lever that's on your right. It's going to open up the original door we saw when we spawned in and also unlock a door across the way from it. But when you go through this newly unlocked door, you'll see a sort of barrier that you can't pass through and some glowing spores off to the left. You're going to have to shoot at these spores, but make sure you're standing right next to them because it gives you a specific buff. This buff actually allows you to pass through that barrier without getting damaged. Now when you go into this first room, look up and to your left, and you'll see some pipelines along the walls. Jump up onto those pipes, follow them along the wall until you see a vent. Break through the vent, which is another small little pathway. Pretty easy to follow, just make sure you're moving upwards the entire time. Follow the path I take here until you get into the next area. So now that we're in this big room, you'll notice some electric force fields. The first thing we're going to do is head through that entrance to your right after dropping in and go all the way to the back of the hallway after killing the enemies and there's going to be a switch. Activate that switch and then head directly back where you came from and there's going to be a newly opened door. This door has some more of those glowing spores. Walk up to the glowing spores and make sure you shoot them to get that buff. Now quickly head over to the platform and jump all the way across and then use that buff to make your way through this area. Follow the path I take here and killing a few more enemies until you come back out and have to jump back across again. Now you'll notice this tower with this blue glowing looking fuse. You're going to have to shoot that fuse and it opens up a hatch in the floor that allows you to drop down in. Now after dropping down into here, the first thing you're going to have to do is take care of the ads. And then in the back right upper corner of the room, there's going to be a switch. You're going to have to activate that switch. Then run across to the other side of the room into this upper door, head out that door, and you're going to have to jump across the big gap again. There's going to be another switch. Now head back to the first original room, drop down to where this door has opened up, and you're going to see another fuse that's been revealed. Shoot this fuse and then head back out that upper door. 
Once out here, you'll notice down below there's a new pathway opened up and it leads directly to a trash compactor. Now once down inside the compactor, you'll notice on the far wall there's actually a switch. Once you activate this switch, enemies start pouring down and the walls start closing in, and they will kill you once they hit a certain threshold. So the way you actually get out of this compactor is you'll notice there's a ton of vents all across the ground. You'll have to start shooting these vents and shooting out any lit up blue fuses that you come across. Once you destroy all the blue fuses, you'll notice that the compactor stops and one of the vents has opened up a new pathway. If you can't find the pathway, just keep shooting out vents until you see it. Once you make it through the compactor area, you'll drop down through a little path that leads to another room that's going to spawn in a bunch of enemies. You'll get a look at the boss you're going to have to fight later, and then a ton of adds and a few yellow bars as well. Now the enemies here are somewhat difficult, so I either recommend playing defensively, bringing great weapons, or maybe a fire team along with you for this part as well. Now once you defeat all these enemies, follow the path I take here until you get to this other big opened up room that has a bunch more enemies to defeat. Now once you defeat all these enemies, you'll notice if you look out towards the big open door, you'll see sort of a platform jetting out. Take this path and make your way around to the other hangar. Once in this next hangar, you'll have to make your way to the back corner of the room, scaling objects to get to that upper level. Follow the short path I take here until you get to this room filled with that fungal looking stuff we saw from earlier. Now as soon as you come into this room, turn to your left and you're going to see another one of those levers on the wall. Activate this lever and it opens up one of those spore rooms. Shoot the spores to get the buff and you can get through that barrier to get to the next room. Now this room is going to be a little bit tricky. So the first thing is to take care of the ads that you see towards the back. And then right here in the center of the room, there's going to be a switch. Activate this switch. And then on the side of the room where you came in, there's going to be a newly opened door with a blue fuse behind it. Now this fuse deactivates an electrified barrier, but it happens very quickly. So you're gonna wanna stand about where I do to where you can see the electric barrier and you can see the fuse at the same time. Shoot the fuse, jump up through that electric barrier, and then there's gonna be a switch on your right that you have to activate that opens up a door. Head through that door, activate another switch that gets you back into the original room, and now there's going to be a newly opened door with more of those spores. Shoot the spores to get the buff, and then head back towards the back of the room and you can go through that barrier. Now the next room we're going into is going to be very similar to the last one. You'll go in and there's going to be a bunch of ads and you'll have to take out the ads, and then towards the back of the room there's going to be a switch. Activate this switch, and it opens up a door in the center of the room that has a turret guarding a fuse box. Destroy the turret, shoot out the fuse box, and then a newly opened door opens here on the side. Inside is a bunch of those spores that you need to shoot and get the buff from. Once you have the buff, head back towards the back of the room, and there's a hole in the back corner that you can now pass through with that buff. Now, once you drop down here, there's going to be kind of a maze that's filled with vents that you can shoot out. So to make things really easy for you guys, when you drop down, turn to your right, and you're going to shoot out that vent first, and inside is just going to be some of those spores to get the buff. And then head back out and directly across from that side of the room. Keep going forward until you can take your first left, follow that path until it splits again, and then you take a right. You'll know you made it when you pass through that barrier wall and flip the switch to your exit. Now this next room that we go in, we've actually been through before, but there's a new path that's opened up. So first things first, head to your right when you come in, get that buff from those spores, and then turn directly around and head through that newly opened path. Now with this next room that we're going into, first off, make sure you take care of all the enemies. And then in the back left corner of the room, you're going to find another switch that needs to be activated. After activating it, there's going to be a small doorway that opens up, revealing a blue fuse. Shoot this blue fuse, head back to the other side of the room where a door has opened up with spores, 
get the buff from these spores, and then back to the far side of the room where you can pass through the barrier. Alright, this next room is kind of a jumping platform room with a few enemies sprinkled in. So make your way around on these platforms to get to the back of the room where you're going to see this switch. Once you activate this switch, a door opens up behind you revealing a turret. And then jump down to this platform here, look towards the center of the room and you're going to see a blue glowing fuse that you need to shoot out. After you shoot out that fuse, you'll notice up here towards the center of the room, there's a newly opened door. Now this is where things get a little bit tricky. So. Head back to where you first came into this room, and you're going to see some glowing spores. Shoot these glowing spores while standing next to them to get the buff, then follow the path I take here to go to that newly open room where you're going to have to pass through a barrier, shoot some more spores to continue your buff, and then continue on towards the back of that room, where you can cross that final barrier to the exit. All right, now in this new room, you'll notice that you can place a banner down. This is going to be the last leg of our journey. So of course, place a banner if you want. Then you're gonna activate the switch in this room, grab a spore, pass through the barrier, and we're gonna be engaging in the final boss encounter. So first off, you'll notice there's gonna be a bunch of ads with the boss. You're gonna have to clear all the ads, but then the boss is nowhere to be found. If you start looking around, you'll notice you can drop down on the sides into this lower part of the room, but it's filled with fire that actually damages and kills you. The boss is down here, but first thing we need to do is deactivate the fire. So on both sides of the room and in the center, there's going to be a terminal that you can interact with. You're gonna have to activate all three of these terminals. Start with one on the side, then go across to the one on the other side, and then do the one in the center last. This is because after you interact with all three, it deactivates the fire, and there's actually fire in the center room. So save it for last, that way when you deactivate it, the fire disappears and you can get out safely. Now that the fire's deactivated, we can go back to the lower floor and fight the boss. Now when he gets to a certain health threshold, the fire will activate again, and then you'll just have to do the same steps over. Now this boss is very difficult, so I highly recommend bringing a squad with you. Once he is defeated, you'll just progress along the path until you get to this big opened up room with a guardian that you can interact with, then head back to Zavala and pick up your reward. Alright guys, well I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing to the channel for more. I will catch you guys in the next one, and as always, good luck and have fun.